Hi Matrix, uh, today's lesson is on synapses and if you're following on your textbook we're on page 137. This is just going to be a quick recap of what you've done in previous grades. There's not a huge amount of information you need to know on this topic. Um, if you refer to your exam guideline it actually simply says that you need to know the significance of a synapsis. So just as some quick revision. We know that our neurons do not touch one another, which means that where there is the terminal branch, it connects with the dendrites of the next neuron, and they don't actually touch one another. That then means that when an impulse is running down a neuron, like this motor neuron in front of you, it is going to go down from the dendrites, through the axon and to the terminal branches where it then gets to the synapse. And the synapse is effectively the space in between one neuron, uh, the neuron's terminal branches and the next neuron's dendrites. Now if we look at a closer image of what a synapsis looks like, you will see the axon of the first neuron and that then links down into the dendrite of the next neuron where our impulse is going to. So effectively we are moving from the axon through the synapse to the next neuron's dendrite. Now because our neurons do not touch one another, they need to communicate with one another through neurotransmitters. And neurotransmitters are chemical substances that create an electrical charge difference and that is how one message is sent from one side to the other and they are packaged within these vesicles now if you remember vesicles are somewhat like temporary vacuoles that you can put substances inside of them and they will then move to the surface of your axon the axon terminal branches, and they will burst. And those chemicals then move from the axon of one neuron to the dendrite of another neuron. And this space that they move across is called the synapse. Now, on the other side um, of the synapse is the waiting dendrite, and it has little receptor regions that are receiving the information and then that will be converted from a chemical message back into an electrochemical message that will then move through the dendrite. Please note that you don't need to have a very detailed knowledge of how um, the chemical reactions take place across the synapsis and the formation of the vesicles. Um, as if we look at our exam guideline, there is only one bullet point that you need to know and put the most effort into, which is the significance of synapses, which brings me then to why are they important. So please then take note of and NB and star these. They are at the bottom of page 137 and they are why are synapses or synapses important. So the first reason why they are important is the direction of flow um, happens only in one direction. And this is significant um, simply because you don't want a message to be able to bounce backwards and forwards within the synapse. You want it to go from the one dendrite into the uh, next um, neurons dendrites so effectively you want it to run from the dendrite along the axon to the axon terminals and then into the dendrite of the next neuron. The second reason why a, a synapse is so important is you can use multiple neurons at the same time. In other words that would then mean that you are able to send a singular message to several or more than that uh, neurons at once, meaning we're going to go from one neuron and we're going to be able to pass that message on to seven or more neurons. The third and final reason why a synapsis is so important is you have something called filtering out. And
And effectively, filtering out means that your body has the ability and your nervous system has the ability to decide what impulses actually matter and which ones should be ignored. For example, right now, you're probably sitting down and you are stimulating pain receptors in the tissue that you're sitting on. But your body is choosing to ignore that information because it knows that at this point, you you are under... Um, no duress, you, you're not safe, um, you are perfectly fine, you're not hurting yourself, and so it ignores those messages. Only after a while, if you've lost blood circulation, um, do you start to then experience something like pins and needles. And that's it, Matrix. Um, like I've said before, please reach out to your respective teachers if you want any clarification on the synapses.